which will be fantastic because this is a lighter ball than normal. So the, uh, if it just the wind drops a bit, you'll see a very, very accurate uh, hitting game. They are, uh, we'll wait for the celebrities to uh, throw the ball in. They'll be getting advised of what's to happen. While the, uh, the players warm up their ponies, obviously being quite cold out there on the snow, they'll need a good warm up. As the player gets. Now, some of these players have never sat on these ponies before. It's not like when they travel the world through Europe and, uh, and the like where they actually have their own string of horses. These horses have been uh, provided by the Metropolitan Polo Club. So these players have never sat on these horses before, um, which makes it quite fair. Uh, there's no bias. They, they, it's not like any one of these players has their own string here and they've uh, actually uh, brought them with them. These are all horses that they've never sat on before. So, um, We've got the uh, Hong Kong Chinese players already out warming up. And it's Kajemo Terreira out there already. Sees the Argentine. Eight goal player. Making sure he can still feel his fingers and his toes out there on the snow, making sure that the ponies relaxed and uh, getting used to the, the grandstand, this amazing grandstand here that the uh, Metropolitan Polo Club has put up for this tournament. A truly world class facility. The umpires now bringing their ponies out to the centre of the field to shortly get played underway. No sign of the Spanish yet. They've, they've taken their ponies back to um, get fresh ponies after the, uh, the cere opening ceremony. So, uh, so Fernando Gerente, the number two out there warming up. This may be the first time this year these ponies have played on snow, so they should be looking at the, the field a little bit more than usual. Um, it has been an unseasonably warm year here in Tianjin. And they've been playing on the, the, the grass field and on the uh, in the arena, but they probably haven't played on the snow yet. This, so this being the opening game, we could expect some exciting things to happen. Because these horses running on snow don't get quite the turning ability they do on grass, so they, they wear shoes You'll with find very that, large uh, cocks at the back, which allows them the to uh, get a good warm up now while they wait for the, the Spanish so players to come out on their back. Yes, the, you go into the, the uh, umpires now will be start, to start, to start, 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 starting to talk to the players, just getting them to get ready for this the opening round here for this. So Snow Polo World Cup for 2014, uh, proudly hosted by Fortune Heights and uh, Metropolitan Polo Club here in <laughs> Tianjin. Uh, no sign of the Spanish onto the field yet, but the Hong Kong China team taking every opportunity to get as much practice and as much warm up into their ponies as they can. So the, uh, I'm not sure where the Spanish players are, but they should be, they'll be out on the field shortly. I think we can see them in the background there, just getting onto their ponies now and uh, getting ready to come out onto the field. Like I said, the Hong Kong China team, very happy to use this time to keep warming up the ponies. Great crowd here today for the opening round. Um, You've taken full advantage of these amazing facilities and uh, we've got a very strong Chinese contingent but also a very strong international contingent. 
I think what they've what's happened is the uh, because of the, what I spoke to Edcon about before, the um, the Spanish team has had to change their shirts uh, because they were too close. They were both red, and uh, I think the the officials have asked them to change from the red shirt to a, a, a blue shirt uh, or, or jersey, and uh, so then the umpires can clearly distinguish the difference between the the colours. And uh, so that's what the delay's been here in this first game, the opening round of the Snow Polo World Cup 2014. But you've got uh, Facundo Fernando Gerente on um, Hayden Elm, little bay horse that's uh, an Australian pony. Uh, Guillermo Torreira, he's come out on a horse called Negro. And at number three for the Hong Kong Chinese team, he's on a horse called Campisi. Campisi named after a very famous rugby player who played for Australia many years ago, David Campisi. Uh, I think he scored the winning try in the, uh, the, 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 the final of the, uh, the Rugby World Cup. So uh, it'll be interesting to see whether he can uh, emulate that here uh, next weekend on the 19th uh, when we have the final of the World Cup Snow Polo for 2014. Okay, so the uh, the VIP uh, who will be throwing the ball in here today, Mr. Asad Jambar Hoy, who's the, on the executive committee uh, of the Federation of International Polo, the FIP. He will be throwing the ball in from the sideline. Uh, it's a great tradition in polo to get um, celebrities to throw the first ball in um, and to get this opening round underway here this afternoon, it will be Mr. Asad Jamhoy, uh, Executive Committee Member of the Federation of International Polo, or FIB as it's well known. You may have seen him giving his speech in the uh, opening ceremony here today. But to start the game off, it'll be Hong Kong, China heading to the right of your screen, and it'll be Spain heading to the left. Oh, he's looking for a clean line out. The ball's been thrown in very well. Who's come up with it first? It's Hong Kong, China. It looks like it might be John Fisher. He backs it cleanly up towards, but it's going to be Spain going back in defence now. Back there at number three for the Spanish team. Hits it up there. Martin Edrasbe. Now he's hit it across to the boards. Who's got it first? It'll be Gomez, is it? Gomez taking it forward on the horse called Zeke. Now near side shot required. Didn't quite get there. John Fisher tried to get there but didn't get it. It's hit a rust bag again. He's got it on the near side taking it forward. Now he's going to have to go hard to try and get past the number two for Hong Kong. Here he goes. It is Facundo. Leaves it for John Fisher. Fisher's clear. He's not being marked up at all but he's still got to get past the number one here for Spain. Goes for the backhand shot, doesn't quite get it now. John Fisher reads the play off the boards now. He's got to still get past the number two for Spain. Number Fisher taking it forward now, hooked out of it. But he goes for the big neck shot and it's gone wide over the back line. So, amazing start here for the first game. Spain will uh, breathe a sigh of relief with Idaraspe getting the hit in from the back line. And the Hong Kong Chinese team getting back in position now. Looking for this quick hit in now. It is Idaraspe on the grey pony now. Going out right to the... He's been well covered there by his teammate now. He hits it out towards the board. Getting a clean run now. And the Spanish team members doing a great job of protecting their number three, Idaraspe, as he keeps it himself. Now, he's got to try and get past Gerente. Fisher now cleans up at the back. Fisher for Hong Kong, China now, taking it out to the boards. Going to have to have a big neck shot up the boards, doesn't quite get it. Now, it's the number one for the Spanish team, Pascal Vacuna, the number one for Spain on the attack. It's Spain on the attack. The third seed up against the first seed. Now they've left it behind. Here he goes. Will Spain be the first to put some gold on the board? Oh, he's hit it wide to the right. So Spain having the first opportunity to score there. And it's gone wide to the right. Remember, we've got six minute chuckers here. Three minutes 56 on the clock. In the first chucker of the Snow Polo World Cup for 2014 from Tianjin. Umpires now saying that there was a foul, that the Spanish player was impeded, and 
because they're on the attack, they'll get a 20 metre, 20 yard shot at goal, which can't be defended by the Hong Kong China team. So, Spain with the opportunity to put the first points on the board here for this tournament for 2014, the Snow Polo World Cup. Coming to you from Tanjin. Will be hit cleanly and it goes straight through for Martin Etaraspe, the number three for Spain. Puts first points on the board. So it's 1 0 to Spain with Hong Kong China getting the hit in from the back line. Keeping control of the ball. The Hong Kong number three, number two, Jurente. But he can't keep it. Now. Big neck shot required. Doesn't quite get it to Rera. It's been left behind now. Who's come up with it? He's been everywhere already. Is it Vakuna? It's the number one Vakuna. Hooked out of it there. Great play there from Jurente. Uh, from. Uh, now, heading west, Vakuna again, number one, being told to leave by his number three, Idaras Bay. Idaras Bay. It's going to be Spain going in again. No, it's gone wide and it's out over the back line. It's gone wide to the right. Idaras Bay on the attack. He's the one doing all the damage at the moment. Torreira in hot pursuit there trying to slow it up, but it'll be now. Guillermo Torreira on the black pony, hitting it cleanly, but it's straight up the board now. Torreira, the eight goaler. Will he try and come back inside? Oh, great defence there by Spain. Spain hitting it to the boards now. Who's back there? John Fisher looking over his shoulder for someone to hit towards. Hits it towards the goal, but who's back there? Torreira. And Torreira lets it go over the back line. Spanish. End to end polo at the moment. What a great start to the tournament. So, number three for Spain, bringing it in. The Spanish now. Trying to get past. Guillermo Torreira, the eight goal. Does the right off. Peels for the foul. Doesn't quite get it. Torreira takes the ball around now. Bringing it all himself. Oh, gets the pony's leg. Now it's been cleared by Spain. Here we go. Spain on the attack. The number three for Spain. Martin Itaraspe oh, takes it stick side. Then near side. Oh, gets a lucky bounce. Off the knee of the pony now. He's clear. He's got no one on him. Who's going to bring it back? Sticks up. Oh, it comes off. Lucky. Durante. Misses it. Now a big cut shot towards the centre of the field. Will it go through? Oh, it's still in the field of play and it's been back to cross the goal now. And it's gone through the goal. It's 2-0 to Spain. So, Hong Kong with a little bit of work to do here. Torreira bringing it in himself. The eight goal and now. Hits a lovely big shot up towards his number two, Facundo. Facundo Fernandez Durante. But it's not going right for Hong Kong at the moment, and it's gone out over the back line. So Spain doing some damage early, two goals to nil. And it'll be breathing a sigh of relief with that one. It's gone wide. And there's the bell. So the. Looks like they're going to still play on for the 30 seconds now with a six minute chucker. The wind's got hold of the ball. The bell has gone, so they're into the shot clock time now. Nine seconds left on the clock, and who's got it? Will Hong Kong, China be able to put some goal, a goal on the board before the end of this game? It looks like it's gone wide to the right. And that's the end of the first chucker. End of the first chucker for the Snow Polo World Cup for 2014, and it's two goals to nil in favour of Spain, our third seeded team up against our first seeded team in this group, uh, and it's been all Spain at the moment.
here at the uh, Fortune Heights Snow Polo World Cup for 2014. The ball's been thrown in again, but it's been all Spain up till now in the first chucker. It's two goals to nil going into the second chucker, but it's now Hong Kong on the attack. Hong Kong getting a uh, Hong Kong China, I should say, getting a uh, an unlucky bounce there. But now players appeal for a foul, and the whistle has gone. So uh, the umpires ruling there that they could not, uh, the Hong Kong China team could not play their shot because the uh, Spanish player was over the ball. And uh, for that, the Hong Kong China team will get a penalty shot at goal. They'll take it from the 30. The 30 metre mark is uh, where the, uh, obviously 30 yards out from the, uh, the goal mouth end. The Spanish team can defend this. One rider can ride across and try and block this if they so choose. <laughs> Definitely not as painful as the uh, the ball that's used out on the grass field. So it'll be John Fisher for Hong Kong China taking the penalty. Hits it cleanly. But it's gone wide. He's appealing that the ball came off the Spanish player. Uh, the umpires don't agree. Because if it had come off the Spanish player, um, he would have been able to have another shot at goal in, play, in line with where the ball came across the back line. But that's not the case, so it's now. Spain on the attack with Fisher again in the thick of it. Back in defence, does a clearing shot, beautiful clearing shot there too, but it's cleaned up there by the number three for Spain, Martin Iteraspe again. Now, another back shot there by Gerente. Oh, the ponies down, players down. This could be bad for Hong Kong China because their number one player, Guillermo Torreira, the highest rated player in the tournament, is on the ground. It's never good uh, when a pony comes down in any form of the sport. It looks like he's up and about, so it's uh, nothing too severe. You'll notice the umpire's whistle has stopped the clock. And uh, Guillermo Torreira will be back. It'll take more than that to keep him off the field. Hong Kong need him now. Hong Kong China need him now. And it's uh, two goals to nil in favour of Spain. There's the stack. One of, the, uh, one of the things with this game being on the snow, there is a coating of ice down below the snow, and if they do corner very hard, sometimes they can slip. Uh, the good thing about that is that the surface, the snow on top, is very good padding. For all of you snow skiers out there, you'll know that most of the time it's not too severe. And luckily for us, the ponies are very tough as well. So here we go now. Spain on the attack. Throw in for umpire JJ Alberti. Now, whistle's gone. So, umpire saying that uh, the Hong Kong China team, the player was uh, impeded. So, uh, they'll get a free shot on the spot. And you'll see that the number one, Guillermo Torreira, is going to hit this one. He'll play a tactical shot to get a little bit of field position now, just running it up the boards. Keeps it. Now look at his cover. The cover provided by his teammates Fisher and Gerente now. But it's Garret Torreira keeping it himself now. Going back inside the Spanish player, but it's been back kept out of it. Fisher goes again and things just not going right for the Hong Kong Chinese team here today. Defending champions from 2013 here in the opening game. The number one seed for this side of the draw versus the number three seed and it's gone out so we'll have a throw in from one of the umpires umpire Alberti it's a great hit in from the back line now it'll be ball goes in comes out with the number two players and it'll be the line of number two 
for Kundo yeah. Fernando Durante who will come out with it. The grey helmet for Hong Kong China now having to take it near side into the corner. Going to his end of the field, but he's going to have to struggle to get through the number two. Mario Gomez for Spain who clears it, hits the boards, gets the deflection now. It's back. And Torreira's come up with it again. Guillermo Torreira. Now he goes around and look at him. Weaving his way through the legs of the ponies now. Will he get the first goal for Hong Kong China here? No, he's been out to Comes off the leg of the pony now. Will he have to take it inside? Does so. It's gone over the blue line. The flag is up. But the whistle's gone. And he hasn't been awarded the goal. Because the umpires are saying that uh, on his way to scoring that one, he did impede the Spanish player. The Spanish players use this penalty shot now to get a little bit of strategy towards getting this ball out of their in zone, giving themselves a little bit of field position. And you can see he's pointing. Get a rest bay now, looking for runners. Is he looking for runners or is he looking to keep it himself? He goes himself. He's still got two to get past. He's got to get past the evergreen John Fisher who backs down the boards. Lovely little back shot there by Hong Kong China now. Number one, Vakuna backs it down the boards for Spain. Who's turned up to it? First one there to it. It's Facundo Jurente for Hong Kong China now. He plays it forward now. Fisher for Hong Kong China. Back on the attack. Bounce takes it at the top of the bounce. Lovely polo there by Fisher. Now Fisher for Hong Kong China. Leaves it behind. Gets hooked out of it. Now it's gone. Gets the deflection. Is it going to be Torreira? He's going to have to take it around the long way. Torreira now. Leaving the ball. Pony checking on the snow. Having to get back inside through a swathe of players here. He's clear now. Leaves it for Fisher. Fisher goes. He's been looking over his shoulder to see if he can get the ball, and he does. And it's goal time for Hong Kong China. And I think if they, uh, the team talk at the chuck it change would have been, we have to be the first team to score here, and that's just what they've done, Hong Kong China. So they're on the board now, and it's two goals to one with two minutes 20 left on the clock in favour of Spain. That was Fisher doing the damage. Number three for Hong Kong, China. And Durante got the deflection, and it's gone back through. So from the hit in, Spain have made a blunder. Hong Kong, China have capitalised, and it's now two goals apiece. So, Spain, will they learn from their mistakes here? Hong Kong, China have evened it up. Spain taking it out to the boards now. Big lofted shot, probably a little bit too big. It's gone way out over the boards. So there'll be a throw in on the far side of the field. And that's not what Spain needed there. They, they were on the attack and they're still well within their half. So their field position, not great. And if Hong Kong get a lucky bounce coming out of this line out just like Fisher's got now. Will Fisher put the second goal on the board for his team? Oh, he's put too much on it. It's gone wide to the right. Ooh, so Spain breathing a sigh of relief. And that's the, with these smaller fields, the uh, game can turn so quickly from attack into defence. Yeah, they've, instead of tapping the ball now, they've decided to clear their area, Spain. The risk is too great. So they've kept the ball themselves. Hit it out to the... They're at halfway now. Spain leaving it behind for the number three. His name, Martin Iturraspe. Gets the ball stolen off him by Guillermo Torreira, the eight goal. And now hit forward. Whistle's gone. Umpire saying that the one boy is actually having a discussion there in the middle of the field as they uh, try and work out or agree on who was actually impeded. And it will be Spain who get the penalty shot on the spot. So they were not in an attacking position when they were fouled. And uh, because of that, they uh, have been given a spot penalty.
You may have noticed some of the Spanish players coming back onto the field now with a, a fresh pony. He's changed pony, so when they ponies get a little bit tired, they do, they do have the ability to, to get onto a spare pony. They, they have spare ones available on the sidelines at all times. Now, lovely shot towards the goal here for Spain. Hit a rust, baby, but it's gone wide. John Fisher just wisely watching it go over the sideline, over the back line. The hoot has gone, the bell has gone, so the players will use up the 30 seconds on the shot clock now. And the goal, and it'll be Guillermo Torreira playing a little bit of cat and mouse here with the Spanish team. First he goes left, then he goes right. Now he's got some space. Now he's going to take it himself. Hooks it, keeps it alive. Now he's got to get past another Spanish player. Ida Raspe, the number three for Spain. The ball's being left behind. Now the number one backs it. The hoot is gone. And it's going out to the boards. Will it touch the boards? That's the end of the second chucker. And at the end of the second chucker, as we go into the... At break, it's two goals apiece. We're live back here at the Fortune Heights Snow Polo World Cup of 2014. Umpire's about to throw the ball in for the third and final chucker here. With six minutes left on the clock, and it's all tied up at two goals apiece. It's been a tale of two countries till now. We've had the first two chuckers was all Spain in the first and all Hong Kong in the second. But what a way to go into the third and final chucker of this uh, first prelim match for the Fortune Heights Snow Polo World Cup for 2014. So the players getting their gear ready. The ball has been thrown in and out of the front. It's Facundo Girente. He keeps the ball himself. Looking over his shoulder, who's he going to hit it to? Herrera behind yelling his orders now. John Fisher on the black pony for Hong Kong, China now. They know they've only got six minutes left on the clock to do something, and it's going to be Jurente taking forward. Herrera now with a big neck shot across the face of the goal. Oh, unlucky they needed that. Would have been a great way to start the chucker in the first 30 seconds, but it wasn't to be, so Spain breathe a sigh of relief, and it'll be now Martin Itaraspe to hit it in for Spain. Looking for his runners. There's two ways they can go here. They can unload a big ball up to the top of the field. Oh, and look at that. He's made a mistake, a very rare mistake for Itaraspe. Now it's under the legs of the pony now. Torreira was taken out of the play very well there by the number one for Spain on the great pony. Now big hit here by Itaraspe. Now does he get it? It's cross field. Not entirely sure he knew where that was supposed to go but it's now it's gone back towards the centre of the field for Fisher goes for a wild swing, doesn't quite get it now Torreira, the 8 goaler for Hong Kong China, here comes Hong Kong China will he be the first one to score in this third and final chucker of this prelim game, it's Torreira showing skill, going stick side, then near side being hard ridden by Itaraspe will they just let it flow over the line and it's going to be Jorente who puts it through, so it's now the top seeds and favourites for the tournament going 3 goals to 2 in front but no the whistle has gone umpire is saying that the goal has been disallowed because the Hong Kong players have impeded the Spanish on their way to scoring that goal so luck going the way of the Spanish at the moment and it'll be Ida Raspe to hit it cleanly. Last time he played with the ball at the, there and has decided that tactic didn't work, so he's now decided to go for the big clearing shot. Now he'll try and take that around the front of the pony, does so, gets around the number one for Hong Kong China. Now he's got to get past Fisher, the very effective number three for Hong Kong China, but now Torreira, eight goals, gets the ball stolen off him on the boards. Now here he is, the number two, Mario Gomez for Spain. Oh, gets a slip there, picks it up, checks up. Has he got the brakes to get back to the plate? Now, a big back shot there required by the number one for Spain. Doesn't quite get it. Now, coming through, hit a bait, and he's hooked out of it. They're appealing for a foul, and the whistle's gone. His stick is broken. You'll see hit a bait heading to the sides as the... He came through. He claimed the line early, and uh, Hong Kong, China now with a... Deep discussions with the umpire there. 
as the Spanish getting an opportunity here. As Martin Ituraspe goes and changes mallets, he uh, snapped his mallet on the way through there. It was, it was a very big hook there by the number two, Jurente, for uh, Hong Kong, China. And a 20-yard shot at goal for Spain to put them in front with 3 minutes 57 left on the clock. A very, very important goal for the Spanish number three. He's going to walk in, calculating slightly whether there's much breeze around. As I said before, this ball can be uh, grabbed by the wind very quickly. So he's just going to relax, take a lovely relaxed swing for this one. He hits it, doesn't hit it cleanly, but he gets it through and it's goal time for Spain. So the underdogs, the third seed in this side of the draw, go one up with three minutes 43 left on the clock. Now, big hit there by Hong Kong China, the clearing shot. Now, big neck shot there, but turned around now by Idaraspe for Spain. Who's back there? It'll be Fisher. The very strong number three. Oh, and the whistle's gone. Umpire's saying Fisher turned the ball as the Spanish player was coming up the line. And he has got the foul. Being on the attacking side of halfway, Spain had now have another opportunity. They have a 30-yard shot at goal. And it's the hosts and last year's champions, the top seeds, in trouble here against the qualifiers. The Spanish in all sorts, the, the Hong Kong China team in all sorts of trouble here. Probably a little bit of lack of discipline there. Um, the rules state for uh, the not so polo savvy that if you're turning, if you want to turn the ball, you cannot do it across the line. And if, uh, unless the man coming down the line has been taken out of play by the opposition. So the Spanish player was not taken out of play. He was cleanly, clearly coming down the line. And John Fisher for Hong Kong China turned the ball across that line. And in doing so has impeded that Spanish player. And for doing that, Spain have another chance to go an extra goal in front and make this a two goal difference. So Hong Kong opting to block this one if they can. And he's got the deflection, but he's followed it through for Spain and Spain. Ida Raspe has now made it four goals to two. Hong Kong, knowing the clock's running down, they're going to go for the quick play of the ball. And here he is, Guillermo Torreira, the eight goaler, down the boards, past the crowd. Now he's been ridden out of it by Ida Raspe. He's in everything, this Spanish number three. Now John Fisher takes it around himself, looking for a back shot. He doesn't turn it this time. He decides to back it. Now who's back there? Ida Raspe, the number three for Spain. He's been all over the field. Now backs it, looking for the number one, number two, I should say, for Spain, who's getting hard ridden there by Guillermo Lorente. Whistle's gone. Umpire saying that in turning there, uh, the number two, Mario Gomez, has uh, impeded Llorente as he was coming down the line. So the whistle's gone. So finally, Hong Kong trying to get one to go their way. And it'll be Guillermo Torreira with the quick play. He knows he's got two minutes 40 left on the clock. I saw him look at the clock and now he's going to try and play a little bit of cat and mouse. He gets past. See John Fisher taking the player out of the game for him clearly. Now he's got to keep the ball alive himself. Getting th weaving through the legs of the opposition now. Takes it forward, stick side, then near side. Now he can't hit the ball because the grey pony was over it and the whistle has gone. So the, umpire, the, the Spanish player saying here that uh, he didn't move and go across that line of the ball and he didn't think he was in the wrong. Most of us players don't once the, uh, when the whistle goes. We never think we're wrong. But uh, in this occasion, the umpires are always right and it'll be John Fisher to see if he can minimalise the margin and it's now 
Goal time for John Fisher, but it's still three goals to four or four goals to three in favour of Spain, with Spain on the attack, hitting in from the back line. Whistle's gone. We've got two minutes 15 now as the uh, goal judge brings the ball out, puts it on the back line, and it'll be Itaras Bay now. Saying the best form of defence is attack. Durante takes it near side and clears it. Stifles the attack, he does. Hong Kong, can they equalise here? Will we be going into a penalty shootout time now? Here is the number one for Spain. Vacuna clearing it, giving himself some space on the great pony. Now riding the line, up the line. Whistle's gone. Vacuna for Spain. Appealing for the foul, saying that Gerente went across in front of me, sir. And it looks like the umpires are saying... We'll see what the decision is. Sometimes the two umpires will come together and they're not quite sure about A, whether the penalty's occurred or what the degree of penalty should be. No, they're saying that the penalty has gone against Spain. Hong Kong, China will get the, the spot penalty because they weren't in an attacking position. Now, here he goes. Torreira. Guillermo Torreira, the eight goaler. Can he get them in front now? Hits it through, and we've got ourselves a tied up ball game. Four goals to piece. Whistle's gone, minute 30 on the clock. Four goals apiece. In the final chucker, will we be going to penalty shootout here? Here we go. Idaras Bay now, booming shot out towards, gets it out to the right. Pony skating a little bit on the ice. Now who's got it? It's Gerente, the four goaler from Argentina for Hong Kong, China. Will he run it through and make it five apiece? They do. Hong Kong, China, for the first time today, are now into the lead. And Spain, looking for the quick play of the ball. They need to get this ball up to the other end of the field as quickly as they can. They've got one minute left. Now Idaras Bay takes it himself out to the right. They want to keep the ball away from Torreira as much as they can. He's the danger man, the eight goaler for Spain. Now look how deep John Fisher is. He's playing a very good game there at back for Hong Kong, China. Now you'll see by the score, ladies and gentlemen, that it's five goals to four. What's happened there was that the Spanish player was deemed to have created a professional foul by crossing Torreira when he went to goal. Bell's gone. It's now. Who's here? They're trying to. They've got 16 seconds left on the clock for Spain. Will they be able to pull this one off, or is Hong Kong China going to hang on today? Turn the ball. Spain appealing for the foul. It's got daylight. There's nothing but him and daylight between Torreira and the goals. Will Hong Kong China pull another one? And they do. It's six goals to four. The winners of the first game of the Fortune Heights Snow Polo World Cup for 2014 will be Hong Kong on the Hooter. Six goals to four. And what an exciting final chucker. They went out into that chucker, two goals apiece. And at the end of the third, in a very high scoring chucker, the players will shake hands, but at the end of the third, it was six goals to four, I think you'll find. I'm just waiting to see clarification if they're going to allow that six goal to allow, go to the... Uh, to the, to the team or whether the hooter had gone before that ball actually crossed the line. Um, but yeah, it's smiles all around. Yes, they have been awarded, ladies and gentlemen, the that extra goal as he ran to goal. It went through before the hooter went. So it's now six goals to four in favour of Chile, uh, in favour of, uh, sorry, Hong Kong, China. And a very relieved top seed right off the field.
So you can see the uh, the leaderboard with our first game out of the way. Two points going to Hong Kong, China. They've played one and lost none. Uh, and Spain now at the bottom of the table, uh, losing that one there in a very close encounter. Uh, an amazing last chuck. I could have beat anyone's game. But um, we'll go to the break and get ready for the Australia versus Chile match coming to you shortly.